Hi welcome to today's tutorial. In this video you'll learn about how to sync Rhino with D5 Render, and how to make an exterior scene of commercial complex from scratch. We'll start with D5 Converter for Rhino Live Sync Tutorial. To get started, please install D5 Converter from Workflow section in D5, or from D5 Render official website. After installation, we can see the D5 Converter tab in Rhino, which contains seven buttons Start Sync, Stop Sync, Sync Changes, View Sync On, View Sync Off, Send Scenes, and Send Light. Before you start the Live Sync please separate different surfaces of the objects by materials. From the Material panel on the right, you can see that in this project we used different colors to tell the materials apart. Now click on Start Sync to launch D5 Render and sync the Rhino model into D5. When there's addition deletion or change to the objects in Rhino, you can use the Sync button to quickly update the material and model changes in D5. At the same time, it will not replace materials or scene settings that have been adjusted in D5. When syncing, the viewports of D5 and Rhino are consistent, so when you rotate the viewport in Rhino, in D5 it rotates as well. Click on View Off to turn off the live sync of viewports. By clicking on Send Scenes button, the view set in Rhino can be synchronized to the scene list of D5 Render. The last feature is Send Light. To demonstrate it clearly, let's switch to Wireframe View, and now you can see that there is already a group of lights in Rhino. Click Send Lights, and this set of lights will be synchronized to D5 and appear in the resource list as a group. You can adjust the light parameters either individually or in batch, such as attenuation radius, intensity, color temperature, color, visibility in reflection, and size. We've now covered the features and basics of D5 Converter for Rhino. Other than Live Sync, D5 renders support directly importing 3D M files as well. In this case, we divide the project into three parts, building ground and light. Step 1. Import the three files into D5, then select the building model and place it. Set the location to 000 and press C to focus on it. Step 2. Import the ground model. To align it with the building, hold Ctrl to multi-select them, and then click on Align button. Remember to select the building first because we'll take the first one as reference. Step 3. Import the lights just like in Step 2. Select the building model, then hold Ctrl and select the lights. Click on Align again. After importing the models into D5 and syncing coordinates for them, you can start to edit materials. Use the shortcut key I to select the texture you need and change its template to transparent. For now, the glass refraction seems a bit strange as it's single-sided without thickness. Switch on thickness option under refraction and it will produce the correct refraction effect as double-sided glasses do. Use the shortcut I again to copy the adjusted glass texture, and paste it to other parts of the model with the shortcut E. O. To create a metal look for the frame of glass windows, increase the metallic parameter, and brighten the color tone. Then turn on round corner to create rounded edges that look softer in the scene. You can also use the materials in D5 Material Library or import custom material maps for the road, lawn, ground and textures in interior spaces. After editing the textures, let's adjust the overall environment. First import custom HDRI for the general lighting effect. Then turn on fog effect with a tint of blue, making the scene more atmospheric. When making post-processing in the effect panel, it's recommended to turn off auto exposure first. Adjust exposure and white balance properly. Make sure the scene won't be too bright or too warm. If used wisely, bloom, vignette and chromatic aberration will make the scene much more realistic yet artistic. LUTs can help you create different vibes for the scene. You can also adjust other parameters like contrast and saturation as you like. The final step is to turn on precipitation in environment, weather. Adjust the strength of rain to zero, and the level of puddle to 0.3. This will create an after rain ponding effect on the road. 
After finishing the environment and effect settings, don't forget to save the changes by clicking on the Update Scene button. Moving on to more details and decoration of the scene. You can use buildings and plants from D5 model library. Brush tool comes in handy for it quickly places the plants in the scene. Remember to set a proper brush size before painting. For lawns, you can set the radius of brush to maximum so as to activate scatter tool. Press shift and click on a model to add plants. Repeat this step if you need more grass for the lawn. Before placing a plant into the scene, you can use Smart Placement to rotate and resize its model by pressing the shortcuts R and C, while dragging the mouse. To place trees along a street, it would be more convenient to draw with the Path tool. Path tool also works well with character models. Density, width of path parameters are adjustable, and you can also decide the direction, and whether or not the path is located on the ground. Apart from plants and characters, there are a lot of landscape assets from D5 for you to enrich the scene. An even easier way here is to add a sphere model from D5 model library, basic model. You can adjust its size and texture. Turn on emissive, and it turns into a simple but beautiful landscape light. To add vehicles into the scene, you can use the path tool with adjustable parameters like density, width, random color, and light. As a finishing touch, choose from the decal assets in D5 like manhole covers and fallen leaves, to make the scene more realistic. If the decal overlaps with other plants, just scale it down a little. This is it. It's time to render. For image rendering, channel export including material ID, ambient occlusion are supported. For animation making, click the video button on the upper right. Set camera shots, add keyframes for the characters. and adjust the easy ease. There are several options for resolution and format of the clips. With your preferred settings, you're now all set to render. Click Add to Render queue for Batch Render, or Render for Direct Output. That completes our tutorial for Rhino, D5 Workflow. Thanks for watching.